I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Tavernier, Florida, where we just got done testing this. This is Invincible's 33 Open Fisherman. This is a hardcore fishing center console that's rigged to fish like a predator, and it's got all the creature comforts for your family. Let's walk through this boat now, starting right here at the helm station. The first thing you're going to notice is we've got plenty of room here for dual 16-inch Garmin displays. Now it's rigged up Key West style with the acrylic curtains on the side. You can't have it equipped with a solid acrylic windshield. I like the fact that you've got this little tray down here. It's kind of a fiddle rail to keep your phones in place and you'll notice you got chargers for them as well. You've got your VHF radio on the left, stereo on the right, and Invincible puts all their switches right here under the helm and they protect them from water under this acrylic shield. The other thing you'll notice on the hard top is you've got grips right here in the hard top structure. You'll also see that there are steps integrated into it. That's to accommodate an upper station, should you choose one. Now for the driver, he's got dual bucket seats. They're thickly padded, and I love the fact that they got the double diamond stitch here. You've got a footrest down below the helm station, so you're comfortable whether you're standing up or sitting back, and you can see you can still reach the helm and the throttles. Now another great feature that's easy to overlook is the large storage compartment under here. There is plenty of room to put all your safety gear, VHF radio, and things like that. Now the rigging station has everything on board you need to keep your lines ready. Pull this door down and you have a rigging table. Down below, open these seat cushions up and behind it you'll find utility boxes, storage drawers, and compartments to keep gear organized. The frigid, rigid cooler slides out. You've got easy access to your drinks and refreshments, and it's ideal for mezzanine seating on your way to the grounds. Now, a really cool new feature for the 33 this year is the rigging station on the transom. There's a rigging sink here with a shower faucet. Down below, you've got a cabinet for keeping more tackle. That's right next to your live well, so everything is convenient to what you're doing out there. Now to the left of that rigging station, you've got a 65 gallon live well. There's a 45 gallon live well in the floor on the center line. Both of them are fed by a sea chest, which is easily accessible down in the build. You see there are three high capacity pumps in there to keep the water flowing to your bait. To either side of the center line are two large fish boxes. Two more helpful details on the transom. A, you've got a transom door, which is ideal for boating fish and sliding them right into the fish box. And you've got this transom rail, which is a good spot to mount aftermarket rod holders. Now along the gunnels, you've got four Gemlux rod holders on either side. You've also got four Gemlux rod holders in the rigging station. They're fastened from below for an extra durable fit. Now the 33 has a nine foot seven inch beam, which gives you wide passageways between the console and the gunnel. You've got thick pads here, that's great for fighting fish, and it also kind of keeps you comfortable when you're moving around in rocking seas. Take a look at this. We've got it set up here for five vertical rod holders with tip tubes in the top that let your taller rods poke through. Let's walk all the way forward. Now the bow area is a perfect blend of comfort and fishability. The gunnels from midships forward have four rod holders on either side. I love these lounges here. The seat backs are removable. You've got two large insulated boxes in the center and you've got two dry storage boxes on either side. Invincible always pays a great deal of attention to detail. If you look down in the fish boxes, you'll notice that the drain holes are beveled in so that every last drop of water drains out. You won't find that on most center consoles. Invincible does a great job of hardware too. You can see this bow cleat is extremely durable. You've got a large anchor locker here, but here's a nice touch. You've got these line guides built in and they pop up or tuck away if you don't need them. Now to complete the comfort package on board, the 33 has a large head compartment down below the helm. This one's equipped with a porcelain flushing head. You'll also notice that in this large compartment you've got access to all the electronics in your boat, your battery switches, and your circuit breakers. Now in addition to the Invincible 33 Open being a hardcore fisher and a boat that doesn't forget your family comfort, 
It is a performer. Ours is equipped with 400 horsepower Verado engines that gave us top speeds in the high 60s. But you can go to double 450s and improve that speed greatly. The one thing about the Michael Peters SVVT hull is it's efficient and stable even in hard overturns. I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Tavernier, Florida on Invincible's 33 Open.